Yeah. Well, Harry, in terms of debuts, that's not a bad one to start with, is it? Uh, no, it was. Yeah, I've never really been involved in a game like that before, sort of thing. Uh, yeah, it was amazing. Um, I was just yeah, incredible, really. I can't really put into words. Over the moon. Just talk to us about the, the scenes in the, in the change room there. You hear the news come through, you've made it through to a European qualification. Um, it's been a big team effort along the way, hasn't it? Um, yeah, definitely. To be honest with you, in the change room then, it was a little bit, um, I'd say it was a little, a little bit more shock than anything, currently, sort of, because when we sort of going into the game, we were talking about performance and uh, going out there and just putting our game on them and all that sort of thing, you know. But um, to actually go through is, it was yeah, it was more shock than anything. I thought everything was. It's, there's an air of disbelief in there at the minute. And for you, uh, it's nice to put a frustrating few months behind you at last. You know, you're out there playing, and that's what you came here to do. Yeah, definitely. Um, I wouldn't say frustrating as such. So if you come into a club like this, you know, there's a lot of competition, and uh, you know, you never expect just to sort of walk into the team. But you know, no, I'm over the moon just to, to get out there and get stuck in, and you know, and it's a bit vindictive as well, you know, because we sort of put them out and we went through. So class. In terms of that atmosphere out there, though, what was it like? That's your first real experience of the Sandy Park crowd, 11,000 people yeah, was, in here tonight. Yeah, it was ridiculous. Um, I played a little bit in the, or the pre-season sort of going past, but it wasn't having the East Terrace packed out like that when you're running past the end of the wall. So it's spine tingling, so it's incredible. And in terms of today, though, what a performance. You, you knew the Ospreys were going to come here with a big game. They, they had qualification hopes of their own, but the Chiefs, it was a miracle uh, in some respects that, you know, they had to go and do it, but you've done it. I wouldn't say it's a miracle. Uh, <laughs> I wouldn't say it's a miracle particularly. I'd say that, you know, Bordeaux pulled out of the bag, so cheers Bordeaux. But um, no, I don't think we, were ever, we were ever, weren't ever thinking about Ospreys coming here and, you know, and they were desperate for it, you know, and as I said, it's vindictive, you know, I like, or we like beating them, putting them out and, you know, we go through and that's, you know, that's top level sport. I know cheers. speaking to a few of the guys, so there's a real pride in this home record. It's what 13 months here now. Yeah, I think that was one of the main drivers going in. Uh, you know, coaches and uh, you know, sort of Steno and Yendel talk about, spoke about it a lot. You know, maintaining the record. We haven't lost at home for a year now. So you know, I'd, I'd say that for me personally as well, going into that, that was you know, was a massive driver above anything. You know, don't lose at Sandy Park. And with the likes of Maury Lowe and, and uh, Thomas Francis called up to internationals, we could see more of you now, Harry. That's that's a good part of it all. Yeah, yeah. No, um, you know, that's def hopefully you know it's. Uh, it's definitely opened the door, but you know, beyond that, I want to start, you know, putting my stamp on it. Sort of thing, you know, so even when they're back, I want to start putting my hand up and showing what I'm about. You know, so they're, while they're away, you know, I'm glad that, you know, as I said, it's opened the door for me, giving me a little opportunity. But you know, now it's down to me to, uh, to you know, hopefully put my stamp on the shirt. And how big a step has it been for you? Do you feel coming from Jersey to here? Has it been different and a, a lot more? Well, I want to say professional because say it, it's going to be. But uh... yeah, no, definitely. I'd say, it, yeah, to a degree. Yeah, what, the, the thing that I've noticed is, you know, I was playing. Over the years and such, I've sort of gone through sort of national leagues up into the championship and up into the, you know, that's my first sort of top level game. There is, you know, it's just the margin forever just gets smaller and smaller. I'd say that's the main, the main thing that differs. Um, so, you know, so that's 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 what, that's what it is. And when you've got two Robs and Robin Cowling here working with you uh, in terms of scrum time uh, as a prop, uh, you've got plenty of experience there to work with, and, and it's going to help your game massively. Yeah, the coaching team is is phenomenal. I've never really worked with coaches like them. Sort of there, there, there are, you know. You've got such an eye for detail, and you, you are put under the microscope. They know what it's all about, sort of thing. You call Even it in pressure. training, yeah, especially in training. I'd say everything's recorded, everything's monitored. And you know, but I like that, you know, sort of thing. Generally, you are completely accountable for what you do. There's no, you know, it's not really down to conjecture. It's down to if you know, if you put out and you put your, you know, your best effort, and you will get rewarded for it. And I, you know, I like that because you know, it makes it it's all down to you. And how big a statement do you think this has put in, in terms of the Chiefs? Now they're in top two of the Premiership and last eight of Europe. It's not a bad place to be. No, I'd say it's a fantastic place to be, you know, onwards and upwards from here.